Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I've just filmed a zero to 100 makeup look. So stay tuned to see what makeup I'm currently wearing and how I've done my eye look. And I'd also stay tuned at the very end to see what I've got on my legs because they are pretty snazzy if I do say to myself. So yeah, I'm just gonna let you get straight into the video. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button down below. It helps me out so much. And give me a like and perhaps a comment of what other content you'd like me to see me do, especially while we're in lockdown, because it is quite hard to think of three videos a week while you're stuck in your house. But I'm just gonna let you get straight into the video. So I've just lightly dampened my hair in the shower. And first of all, to start my pamper zero to 100, look i'm gonna be trying out the pam pour this little thing here and it's from coconut lane and it's actually a hair rescue mask with nourishing coconut oil and stimulating caffeine this is obviously just a little sample size and you get it in the well-being package i believe which is 30 point but i do have a discount code with them and it's natasha h20 i will leave it on the screen here for you guys and um, you can use that to get yourself 20% off so today i'm just going to be trying this out you can buy this in a bigger pack but um, I obviously got it free with the wellbeing package and I have no other hair masks at the minute so I thought this one would be perfect. If I could open it. I'm just gonna put it on the bottom of my hair because I know you can put these things on the top but honestly it makes my hair so greasy because my hair just gets greasy so easily. So obviously you apply this to damp hair. I just wet my hair. Um, with the short head because I didn't want to like do it in the bath because I wanted to show you guys. I think there's some stuff in here. You actually get quite a lot in here. So obviously I do go up quite a bit, just not completely to the roots at the very top because I don't want my hair to look greasy. I think that might be it. I love using hair masks. I only use them once a week. I'm pretty sure that's how much you're meant to use them. But I need my hair cut so bad. Like, I normally have my hair like this short. But I just am really scared to dye it again for some reason. I cut it that short again. And I normally have it dyed a darker brown. So I'm just going to put my little ears on. You guys have all seen. I literally love them. They're from the body shop. I just think they're so cute. I believe you can buy like loads of the boo ones on eBay though, what are really cheap. So I will try and find them and link them below. But obviously I just got this in a package to let you guys know. So I'm gonna be using, what well, it's actually first impressions. I'm gonna be doing a first impression of this T-Zone Skincare Charcoal Peel, Peel Off Mask, ultra purifying, as you guys can see. I've tried T-Zone before. Along with the um, face mask, I'm also going to be trying the T-Zone nose pore strips. Um, it's deep cleansing and I've never tried these ones before. I normally use the Bioer ones, but these products came to like £5 together at Home Bargains and one's just opened near us, so I thought I'd try them out. So I've just dampened my nose to put on the nose pore strip. And I'm hoping this is good. I love the Bio one. I started using them after I seen Seth and Barker use them. The same as always. And stick it down. Oh, it definitely sticks, which is a good thing. Because some of them are just really bad. They don't even stick. And as you guys can see, there it is. I actually like to dampen mine on the top as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that as well. And I just feel like it makes it stick easier and more comes out. But obviously you don't have to. That's just what I do. So as I said, I just dampened the top of my nose as well because I prefer doing that. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the charcoal peel off mask. I've never used like a peel off mask before, so I'm hoping it's good. If I could get into it. I feel like my YouTube channel is just videos of me not being able to open products. I look so crazy right now. I look ridiculous. But um, it says to leave this on for 30 minutes or until completely dry. So I will just be leaving this on for 30 minutes. 
and um, I'll probably take the pore strip off at the same time just because I like to leave mine on longer. It's probably not a good habit, but I do. So it's been about 30 minutes since I've put all of this on. So I'm gonna rip off the nose strip and then start with peeling off the face mask. I literally hate taking these off. Like it hurts so much. I'm gonna have to film my being ow, ow. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I don't wanna show you what like came out because I don't know, I just get really grossed out by stuff like that. But so much came out. Oh my god, I really recommend these nose strips. Actually, just finished peeling that off. There is a few reminiscences, but also that have come off in the past. My skin feels so soft. I've never used a peel off mask before, but I'd really recommend them. I cried like a baby peeling it off, but that's just me. Any peeling and I cry, but the nose strip was literally so good. And so were the peel off mask, but my skin feels so good. And I would definitely recommend buying them. I will be leaving a link down below. But it is so much cheaper than the BioWare products. And although I love BioWare, I will definitely start getting the T-Zone a bit more because I really recommend them. But now I'm actually going to get in the bath. I've had this hair mask in for so long now. My hair's like basically dry. But I leave masks on for ages and just forget about them. So let's head to the bathroom. Moving on to my skincare. I'm going to be using a simple refreshing shower gel. I literally love the shower gel. I got it for the first time a couple of weeks ago and it is so nice on your skin and yeah i really recommend this it's obviously really cheap we pick ours up in asda and it's just brilliant for your skin and i love how it's got no harsh chemicals in it and it really is natural and then obviously for my face i'll be using my trusty carrot wash from the body shop i use this every morning um, and when I obviously get a bath, when I'm pampering myself, it's actually nearly ran out. So if you've got any recommendations for any other face cleansers I should try, please comment them in the comment section below and I'll have a look at them all. And with that, I'll obviously be using my Sun May um, facial cleanser. I use this every day. It's literally gotten rid of all of the spots around my nose and I love it so much. But I'm sure you've heard me ramble on about all these products in my pamper routine but i will link up there below for you so if you want to just click the eye icon it will come up if you're interested in my pamper routine and then for my bath i obviously use the redux sleep and refurbate and if you see my pamper routine you'd know this i love this so much especially because i struggle to sleep in the evening the items i'm going to be using this lavender dead sea collection of mineral salt scrub this is literally so good I'm a complete advocate for the Soap and Glory scrub of your life, I believe it's called. But we got this in Home Bargains and it literally scrubs off all your fake tan. Like it is brilliant and I really, really recommend if you're trying to scrub fake tan off to try this because it literally got mine off. And then lastly, I'm just going to be using this cute little bath bomb type thing. It's just like a little cupcake. So hi guys, I'm not actually going to lie to you. This is the next day. I filmed um the whole video yesterday and I just didn't like how my makeup turned out. It just wasn't what I'd wear every day. Um, It just looked weird. I don't know if it was the lighting or if it was just me. So I'm going to take off from yesterday from where I got out of the bath. Um, I just want to say it's the next day. Obviously, my hair is still so soft from the coconut lean hair mask. So I will um, be leaving my link here and I definitely recommend purchasing it. I'm just going to do my makeup again. So it is still a zero to 100 glam. But obviously, I just done some of it yesterday and some of it today. I'm just going to go in and start doing my makeup. So I, last night, because I wasn't happy with my makeup, I actually went ahead and cleaned all of my brushes. And I'm literally so happy to have clean brushes. And they smell so nice. But I'm going to go ahead and prep my face. I like to use this e.l.f. primer. I'm sure you've all seen it before. It's the poreless face primer. And I have just cleaned my hands. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my face. And to prep my lips, I'm going to go in with this Up in the Clouds Vanilla Universal Beauty Balm from Coconut Lean. I literally love this so much because it's not actually just a lip balm. You can put it anywhere on your face.
I like to just go ahead and prime my lips with that. I just think it looks nicer when your lips are primed and then you put some um, lipstick right, I just on. Just to dampen my beauty blender. I completely forgot. So I'm going to go ahead with foundation first. I'm just going to put my mirror here so you guys can see a bit better. So today I'm actually going to be using two foundations. I'm going to be using obviously my ELF Flawless Satin Foundation. This one here if you guys can see. And then this collection last imperfection and ultimate wear foundation just for a bit of colour this one because this one is very light coverage and obviously we're going to zero out to 100 glam so we want it to be full coverage I really need to get a new foundation if you've got any suggestions for some drugstore one please let me know and then I just blend them together and begin to dot them on my face Is it and then I just go ahead and wipe that with my beauty blender and then once I've done that I actually go ahead and apply my eyeshadow I do it this way right because if I buy eyeshadow and no base makeup I just never like the eyeshadow so I'm gonna go ahead and use this single NYX eyeshadow this one here and it's like an orangey color if you guys can see and I love this shade it's um, sheer LOL, so random. And I'm just going to go ahead and use a fluffy blending brush for this eyeshadow. I nearly forgot my eye primer. I really don't have much left of it. It's the Urban Decay one. I'm sure you've all seen it a million times before, but I literally love it so much. And I'll show you it in a minute. I literally just have a little sample size that I got on my birthday. But it's this one here, if you guys can see. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend my makeup in. I just put this in the crease, but I'm sure you guys can see. So I'm sure, as you guys can see, I'm literally not a makeup artist in the slightest. This is just what I do. And I just thought I'd show you. This colour, you do have to like bring the pigment up and get the palette a little bit, but I actually like that because if it was the other way around, I would probably look like a clown. And I just let it drip down on the sides because I clean it up with um, concealer anyway, so it doesn't really matter how it looks. So once I've went ahead with this, I'm actually going to be using this e.l.f. palette. I literally have no idea if they still sell it or not, if I can find it online. I will let you guys know but I got it I literally broke everything but I got it when I was in New York a couple of years ago and I love it so I'm just gonna go ahead with um, a whitish color just to base my eyes a little as you can see I've just based my eyes with a white glitter and then I go in with another blending brush and I just use a dark orange, like orangey colour in the lid. But it's not dark, it's like very bright orange, like more yellow in the lid. And then I just go ahead with the first blending brush again and make sure it's all blended. I've done that I just use a flat brush um quite a small one and go ahead with a glitter like an orangey glitter color what I literally love and I put that in the in a corner and then I just go ahead with the first brush again and the next color and make sure that's all blended on the outside And that is literally me done for now. So I will clean that up with some concealer and then fix it at the end. So I like to go in with this e.l.f. concealer. It's the e.l.f. Hydro in Camo Concealer Satin Finish. If you guys can see there. And I like mine to be really like almost kind. So I just apply it underneath my eyes. And I do like quite a straight line. And then my tears are on up here and on my chin and on any blemishes. 
which I have right there. And in a gear with my Dampin' Beauty Blender and blend this all in. Once I've done that, I like to go ahead and do my eyebrows. And I will be fixing this eyeshadow towards the end, so do not worry if it looks a bit funny at the minute. So I will be using the Soap and Glory Archery 2 in 1 brow, and I literally love this eyebrow stuff. And I will just be using a little brush to brush them up. And I just do thin little strokes so they look quite natural. So as you can see, I've just drawn them on and then I use the other end of this product to push my brows up. Because I love like the laminated brow look. Like I want my eyebrows laminated so, so much. I'm so annoyed I never got it done before. A lot of drawing happened and that is my eyebrows i'm just gonna make one of them a little longer so it isn't as long as it normally is and compared to the other side and for now that is my brows done i literally love this eyebrow look it's probably one of my favorites if i'm honest and then i'm gonna go ahead and apply some contour and some highlighter this is probably my favorite part so for highlighter, I like to use the Summer in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glue Kit. I'm sure you've all seen it before, this one here. I literally love this glue kit so much. I just use this little angled brush from Spectrum. It's the A05. And for contour, I use a range of things. Recently, I've been using the 17 Define and Contour Kit. It's really random, but I absolutely love it. But as you guys can see, I've literally hit pan in the contour part of it. And I just use um, a massive blending brush. Mine's from e.l.f. the ultimate blending brush. Like so, and then I'll go ahead and fix my eyeshadow. So I just used the brush I was using and the pigment the NYX one and make sure that line is nice and even um, I'm not the best at makeup so really if you're not that good at makeup this is probably the easiest way to follow it and then I just use this elf eyeshadow brush it's just a short ended one and I go ahead with that um, orange NYX eyeshadow and go underneath my eyes with it And I go back in with the shimmer colour um, I use in the corner of my eye and the flat brush and just make sure that's still sparkled in the inner corner and it hasn't rubbed off at any times and then apply a tiny bit underneath my eyes in the inner corner. Basically my makeup looked done but I like to use this lash separator on my eyebrows to make sure they stay up because this really separates them. like so and now all i need to do is apply some eyelashes and for eyelashes i've been loving these door lashes recently they're actually the zara they're 10 pound ones they're these ones here they're 10 pound each but i actually got mine in a seal and i believe it was four for 12 pound but i literally love them so much like, i think they're beautiful eyelashes if you can see them without the ring light shining uh, I show you all know how to apply eyelashes, so I will be doing this off camera just because I get so stressed when I do it. I just cannot do it. So as you guys can see, I've just applied them eyelashes. They are really easy to apply. I have to cut mine down a little because they are quite long, but I have the tiniest eyes ever. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lips, and then this is the finished look. So for my lips, I'm going to be lining them with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Lip Pencil in Conspiracy. I'm sure you have all seen this quite a lot. I actually need to sharpen my. And once 
once I've went ahead and lined my lips, I like to use an Urban Decay lipstick. Today I'm going to be using this one in Stark Naked. It's an Urban Decay one. I literally love this colour. I've had it for so long. And there it is on my lips. I love this colour so much. I think it goes with the um, lip liner so much. So this is actually the finished makeup look, as you guys can see. I just I love this look. It's definitely my go-to look recently. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I do it. So now, next, I'm going to do my hair and get dressed for you guys. So for my hair, I'm literally just going to straighten it. Because somehow I've managed to lose my curlers. But my hair just feels so soft after that mask yesterday. Like, I'm actually really impressed. Especially because Coconut Indian is more annoying for stationery. I wasn't sure how the beauty products would be. But I love that hair mask. I will definitely be purchasing the full one. So sorry if I'm looking this way. It's just that's where my mirror is. So I'm just going to go ahead and straighten it. Not that much. Let me just... There we go. That is just my hair straightened. I really want to curl it, but... I just don't know where my curlers are. Like, I don't know where you could have put a pair of curlers to lose them. But I always wear my hair straight anyway. So this is it. So I just need to get changed. And then that is the final look. And so as you guys can see, this is the final look. I've just got on these star trousers from Nasty Gal. I literally love these so, so much. Like I'm so obsessed with them. I just think they look so cool. And they'll look so cool for a pair of chunky trainers. I wouldn't really wear them with heels because I'm not a heel person, but I just, I'm obsessed with them and I've actually got another pair. They were on sale, so I will try link them or I'll link a similar pair, but they are just like the wide legs at the bottom, but tight at the top. And I just think they look so nice with a white top or with a black top. So yeah, this is my final look to chill in my bedroom or my living room. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe because it means the absolute world to me. Like, hitting 600 subscribers in my first month of YouTube meant so much to me. So, obviously, I'm on the road to 700 now. So, if you'd like to subscribe, please do. Like, comment, and let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. And I'll be back up Monday. Bye!